Tonight, we're hearing from a food delivery driver carjacked at gunpoint in Lakeview last night. He tells CBS 2's My Martinez he's shaken up, but it could have been much worse. The kid could have killed me. Tim, who asked us not to use his last name, knows the carjacking he survived could have been much worse. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I come out with my life. Tim was delivering food in the 800 block of West Newport in Lakeview around 10 Monday night when another car pulled up next to him and two teenage boys jumped out, one armed with a gun. When I opened the door, he threw the gun down, get out the car, and I, I could tell it wasn't pointing at my head, it was pointing right here, mm -hmm. you know, and I got out, I got out, he grabbed my cell phone. I just wanted to make sure I moved quick so he wouldn't shoot because I was looking down a barrel and I was looking at him in the eye. So I just wanted to make sure that he wouldn't shoot me. What were you seeing in his face when you looked into his eyes? I seen fear in his face and he was serious. So I just took it as that. I moved quick. I didn't hesitate because I didn't want him to pull the trigger. The gunman took off in Tim's silver Honda Accord but didn't get far before crashing into this parked Jeep in the 500 block of West Briar Place. The Jeep's owner, Javier Castrejon, couldn't believe the amount of damage. He said uh, he hasn't, he, he's lost for words because he be, he been having that car for 15 years now. Chicago police caught the 16 year old suspect. Tim hopes he and other young men will learn that life is all about the choices you make. He also hopes they'll put down the guns. And the fear that you put in that person after you pull the gun on them, is, it changed that person forever. My Martinez, CBS 2 News. Tim hopes sharing his story will remind other delivery drivers to be aware of their surroundings. He says investigators say the suspects followed him for a while before the carjacking. Police are still looking for the other two suspects.